So finally we got some really juicy new information that may as well be old god whispers right in the middle of the shadowlands. Apparently a relic from Cortia whispers to us and says quite a few mysterious things that might have huge implications for not just the shadowlands but what is to come after. So what are some of these whispers and what could they actually mean? Brought to you by Gamevo. Use my link to get Shadowlands in game time cheaper as well as any other game. Use code Doron for an additional discount. To provide some context about what these whispers are, we do have some concrete information thus far. In 9.1, there is this brand new faction known as the Archivist's Codex, composed of Cortian attendants that commit their entire existence to research artifacts all across the Shadowlands. However, as Cortia is now in the focus and the Moss Horde, led by the Jailer, are invading, they're sort of on an emergency mission to recover all the scattered relics. Well, one of these relics is the so-called ever-living statue Ed that drops from a Mossworn commander and as soon as you loot it, it starts giving you these very strange ominous whispers quite akin to the old gods or the void lords. Now, once you return the statue to the leader of the faction, he is quite dismissive, he tells you I trust you didn't listen to anything this little monster told you as it is incapable of uttering the truth. Then you can read that it is difficult to determine the age of the relic but it, it could be countless eons old and that it must have witnessed who knows what. Now, despite the guy obviously telling you that the statuette is lying, I think it is in fact the guy that may be lying. As you might know, people in the Shadowlands are quite ordered and dedicated to their purpose, quite similar to the light, kind of fanatical, and if this is a Void Lord artifact that is capable of telling many truths and many visions, the beings of order would obviously just be blind to it and they would dismiss everything as lies. However, what are some of these actual whispers and what could they actually mean and what could they imply. So we have the first one, hidden from daylight, a sleeping flame rests atop the sixth tree. This in my opinion is honestly the most interesting one and possibly even the most important one as well. In reality it could mean many things and there are a lot of concepts in Warcraft that use the number 6 but honestly two occasions seem the most likely to me. Either it is the cosmological forces or the world trees so let's try to dissect it one by one. As you know by the cosmology chart you have light, void, order, disorder, life and death. These are the 6 forces. What this sleeping flame atop the sixth tree could mean is that it is more than likely the death force. It seems like long ago, more than likely, first ones imprisoned the jailer and bound dead in chains, so currently it is the sleeping flame. That is no longer competing on the cosmological battlefield, but the sleeping flame means that soon enough the flame will light up and then this fire might as well just change everything. However, with this theory, I can't really decipher what the hidden from daylight really means. In this contest, it could just mean that it was in prison so it is not free, therefore it is not in the daylight. However, the other theory might just fully explain this and might give a bit more clarification. Many people took this saying quite literally and honestly I gotta say it just makes a lot of sense. These trees that they talk about are actual trees and as you know there are world trees on Azeroth. World trees are all tied to the Emerald Dream and obviously as we have recently learned with the Loon and the Winter Queen, the dream is highly connected to Shadowlands and Ardenwild. Well, you have five world trees on Azeroth. Nordrasil, the one that destroyed Archimonde, Teldrassil, the one destroyed by Sylvanas, Andrasil, the tree in Grizzly Hills, the fallen one, Shaladrasil, the tree in Walshara, and a tree in the Nightmare taken over by Ilgenot. Now, you may be wondering, you just named five trees, what could be the sixth one with a sleeping flame? Well, more than likely the tree in Ardenwield, the heart of the forest. It could also be the main tree because and we know for certain that Ardenwild is tied to the Emerald Dream, therefore it is tied to the other world trees. The Sleeping Flame might mean that something big is going to happen in Ardenwild and the night and daylight is obviously, it is night in Ardenwild. And as you know, this realm is the key to keeping the Jailer in chains. I gotta admit, this theory definitely makes a lot of sense, especially since you could further tie these whispers in with Ilgenot and other old god stuff because he's tied to one of the world trees, so they may have started infiltrating Ardenwild as well. Now, let's go further down with the quotes. We have hope, 
Betrayal, sacrifice, faces change. The tail does not. Honestly, this seems like the easiest one. To me, it just ties in with the jailer and him breaking his servants. I'd say this is more than likely just about Artis, Savannah, and now Anduin. Essentially, the faces change with the servants of the jailer, but the tail does not. It is still the same mission, the same story, and they all really serve the same master and same purpose. Furthermore, Artis could be the betrayal, Hope could be Anduin, and Sacrifice Sylvanas. However, really all three could be tied to all of these characters. Furthermore, we have two other ones that I really just want to tie into one point. A city of secrets, a history of lies, and so many secrets, so little time left to share them. These two honestly seem quite easy. We find this artifact in Cortia. Cortia is known as the city of secrets, so a city of secrets, a history of lies. What? This history of lies implies to me seems quite obviously related to this entire underlying mechanism of the Shadowlands, the interference of the first ones, the imprisonment of the jailer, and how things are not really as black and white as they seem. The evil may not be so evil, and the good may not be so good. Now, the second one, so many secrets, so little time left to share them. To me, honestly, this just seems like it gives us a sense of urgency, as in something big is going to happen soon, universe altering, and there is little time left to actually start learning the truth and what could actually be going on behind the scenes. We have another point, how many voices do you heed? How many are real? Which. To me, honestly, seems like really the least interesting point out of all of these. I think this just further enforces the previous point that so many people are just sending us submissions. They're telling us what is real, what is free will, what is going on. But more than likely, most of them are actually wrong and they're just serving their own goals. Now, lastly, we have possibly the most interesting and prophetic one and definitely the most difficult one to understand. The seventh covets what the six hold fast, the fulcrum wavers, all will be undone. The second part is obviously the easiest one, it just means that soon the dam will break and something really big is going to happen, once again implying urgency, however, the seventh and the sixth, it is really hard to tell as once again, as I mentioned, there are many six things in Warcraft in general. Now, the one that can easily be explained is the Titan Pantheon, we know that there are six titans and Sergeras is the seventh, but honestly, I don't really think this is relevant at all to the Shadowlands storyline. So my opinion is that this either refers to the cosmological forces or the eternal ones. As we mentioned, there are six universal forces and there are six eternal ones if we count the Jailer. Now, who or what could be the seventh one? In my opinion, in both of these cases, it could be the first ones. As you might know, first ones seem to be the most important force in the universe and as far as we know, they're not on that cosmological chart and they seem to be like the architects of the universe. Covet means wants to possess. So the first ones might want to possess the other six cosmological forces. Additionally, if referring to the eternal ones, it might explain how the first ones order the Shadowlands and essentially possess the eternal ones and just bound them on their mission. These two points definitely make the most amount of sense to me at least, but I gotta admit it is definitely a hard point to speculate on. All in all, however, these are some really interesting points that might just be the beginning and a hint of what is to come in the future of the Shadowlands. Thank you for watching. Check out what are the worst alliance crimes by clicking on the screen and also check out the Runs Academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.